We're not allowed to go inside. Worth the hype? 100% no. PP Islands. Are they still a peaceful, tropical getaway? Or has it become an overhyped, crowded, shark-infested nightmare? Let's find out. Welcome, Welcome to PP Island. Island. About to go on what might be the most immersive experience here on the islands, because Co PP or PP Islands are made up of four different islands. We'll be going on a boat tour, exploring three of the four islands. Mosquito Island, the fourth one, is actually closed off, and it's full of mosquitoes anyway. Yeah, so, so we're good not going there today. <laughs> yeah, so it should be a lot of fun. But is it travel so much better with friends? Absolutely. Let's go see if we can find a couple. Hey. Do you guys want to be your friends? <laughs> Sounds good. is here on Viking Cave. It has some Viking boat paintings. Oh my gosh, I'm moving a lot here. And there's lots of legends about these paintings, but we're not allowed to go inside. So we're going to be exploring it by snorkeling around the bay. And apparently we may encounter some sharks in here. here it's not super energetic I'm sure if you came here at like 7 or 8 a.m. it'd be way less busy <laughs> the tour group is all Brazilian because of our Brazilian friends and honestly we've done this a few times gone on like Brazilian only tours it's the best I love Brazilians right uh, so we're gonna grab a quick bite to eat or so let's go And this place got famous after the Leonardo DiCaprio movie in the 2000s called The Beach. And after it released, there were so many tours, so many people coming to visit that unfortunately it completely killed off all of the natural life here, all of the corals and consequently the little fish, the shark. And the government decided to close off in 2018. No one could come here until this year where they were able to replant some of the corals and they decided to reopen. Now, you're not allowed to swim. You can go in up to your knees in the water. And if you go any further, you're definitely gonna hear the guards. Yeah, like, they're whistling. literally like sitting in a tower, the National Guard here and watching. As soon as someone gets a little bit too far in the water, they're blowing on their whistle, yelling at the people to get out. Yeah. You probably already heard in the background, yeah, which so, is good though. It's good for the, the environment. Yeah, so lots of rules. It is beautiful, I will say, but yeah. it's, in my opinion, it's just as beautiful as the other stops that yeah, we it's, made. It's very nice, it's pretty, but worth the hype? 100% no, definitely not. Like, basically, if you're coming to PP and you're like, oh, what stop should I like make sure that I go to? I would definitely not recommend coming here. I think it's kind of a waste a little bit, so. I mean, it is kind of a hazard because there's so many people, you're in line and everything, so it takes time. What 
a day it has been so far. It's been amazing. We're now here at Bamboo Island, which is the most secluded island that's open here in Koh Phi Phi. And we're just gonna kind of chill and relax here a little bit before we watch the sunset. So let's enjoy. recommend. What is the name of the agency again? It's Pipi Brazuca. Pipi Brazuca. <laughs> it will be mostly in Portuguese, but yeah. the guides do speak fluent English. Yeah. So much fun. Yeah. yeah. Very chill. Fun, easy going, very polite too when you're trying to take photos. It's like literally like the best travel companions. So yeah. super thankful we were able to travel with the Brazilian group and yeah. with our friends Marcus and Cynthia. Yeah. Definitely number one thing to do here in PP yes. Islands. And if you like this adventure, which I hope you did, then you'll love this video here on the screen, so be sure to click on that. And as always, thank you so much for watching. God bless, look forward to having you on the next adventure. Until then, bye. bye.